Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand the basic difference between after events and before events and triggers and when to use after or when to use before events and triggers. But before getting started, if you feel my videos are helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So in triggers, there are two types of events. One is an after event and another is the before event. Now I have explained before and after very well in the previous video. I will provide the link in the description. But in short, before events are used when we want to do some kind of automation before the record is inserted to Salesforce. So let's consider this as a Salesforce org. Okay. And this consider this as an account record. Now, even before the record is inserted inside the Salesforce org, if you want to do some kind of automation, that's where you use before triggers. Now, let's understand it with the real time example. Uh, let's consider a chocolate. Chocolate can be considered as a record itself. Your mouth can be considered as a complete Salesforce org itself and the teeth and tongue can be considered as a different objects of Salesforce. Now let's say you have a chocolate and you want to eat it. Now even before eating it, okay, if you want to do some kind of automation like if you want to remove the wrapper, if you want to rotate it, if you want to churn it or anything like that, you can do it. But you can do it before the it, you have uh, put that chocolate inside your mouth. So this is where you use before triggers right before the record is inserted in a salesforce off. Now let's continue to use the same example to understand when to use before triggers. Now let's say you are eating a chocolate. You haven't removed that wrapper yet, right? You haven't removed that wrapper and you're trying to eat the same chocolate with the wrapper. Now, of course, no one is going to eat the chocolate with the wrapper. So you can stop eating it and remove the wrapper. Why? The reason is because of course, no one eats the chocolate with the wrapper, right? So you can just stop eating it like stop in near your mouth. You can open the wrapper and then you can go ahead and eat it. So here what you're doing is you can stop inserting the record in Salesforce. In Salesforce time I'm speaking, the chocolate is considered as a record. Then in before triggers, you can stop the record to be inserted from Salesforce, inserted inside Salesforce. You can stop even get before it, the record gets inserted inside Salesforce and do the automation and then uh, or we can say uh, we can stop the record to get inserted inside Salesforce. Org. Okay, so in before, what we can do if we want to stop the record to be inserted inside Salesforce org, you can use before triggers. Okay, so if you want to show an error message, okay, you use before trigger. So because let's say consider the example of the chocolate itself. Now, if you are eating a chocolate with the wrapper, that's an error, right? It does not specifically meets a general criteria that chocolate should not be eaten with the wrapper right so that's an error so what your system your mind will say is that okay this is an error i have to first of all correct it and then i have to eat that chocolate the same way if you uh, if you have a record and it does not me meet your business criteria you can stop the record to be inserted inside salesforce or inside before triggers and then change it as per as your need basically showing an error message that the record does not meet the criteria so in case if you want to show the error message before the record is inserted that's where you use before trigger. The another way where the another uh, criteria where the before triggers are used is used when you work want to work on the same object. Let's understand it with the same example. Let's say you are eating a chocolate. Now, even before eating the chocolate, you can only interact with the chocolate itself, right? You just have a chocolate. You can remove the wrapper. You can add the wrapper. You can churn it or do anything, but you can do it only with the chocolate, right? It is not yet inserted inside your mouth. Hence, it is not able to interact with your, uh, uh, let's say, tongue or either it, it is not interacting with your teeth. It's not interacting with anything. All changes, you can do it within the chocolate itself. In the same way, if you have a record of an object, if you want to work on that same record, okay, you cannot do it uh, with the other objects or other records in before triggers. But if you want to work on the same record, which is yet to be inserted, only in that cases we use before triggers. So if you want to work on same object, same record. Okay. In that cases, I will add and okay. In that cases, we use before trigger. So the same way chocolate is an object right now, which you are trying to chocolate is an account object you uh, record. You're trying to insert. Now, if you want to do any kind of item like removing the wrapper or churn it or something like that, if you want to do, you can do it on that object itself because it is not yet inserted inside your mouth. So in the same way, before even the record is inserted inside your Salesforce org, if you want to do all the operations, you can do only on that objects specifically. You cannot do it on contact or do it on the related records. 
so before triggers are used when you want to show an error message <clears throat> or if you want to work on the same object of the same record so this is where the before triggers is used for and after triggers is simply used for working with related records what do i mean by that is let's consider this real time example now when i insert the account inside the salesforce org i want the contact should also get created and inserted inside the salesforce org <coughs> now in simple terms once the account record is successfully inserted inside the salesforce org only then you can go ahead and create the contact right because once the successful creation of account has happened only then you can go ahead and create the contact record so here what you want is when account is inserted then you are trying to work on the deleted records but if you try to use the after triggers in the same object itself let's say when an account is inserted again you are trying to insert the same account in after triggers let's consider the scenario that <coughs> when an account is inserted you want to insert the same account again is it possible right account is already inserted yeah again you are trying to same insert the same uh, account you can do it in the before uh, before context but in the after after events you cannot do it because account is inserted again you are trying to same insert the same account after the account is inserted you are trying to again insert the same account and again the account will be inserted again after the account is inserted again the same account will get inserted and you will fall inside the loop right so or even before that after if you try to use the same like if you try to use after events to insert the same object you will get a read only record uh, error the reason is because the record is yet to be inserted and again you are trying to insert the same record so that's the reason why we cannot use after triggers if you want to work on same object you can use before but if you want to work on the related objects that's where you use after triggers in salesforce so this is what the basic difference between after and before events is and this is the scenario where after and before events are used if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel